Hi gaming friends, this is Tatiana. I've been meaning to upgrade my PC for a really long time, but really the thing that convinced me to do it is the need to play PC VR games. I have Quest 2, which is a standalone VR gaming console, which you can also use to play PC VR games, but only if you have a compatible PC. I had a limited budget, so this video will be great for someone who doesn't want to go all in in terms of hardware, but still wants to get a very good performance out of a gaming PC. Anyway, I'm quite I'm quite excited that I managed to upgrade my standard office computer into a really cool and fast gaming PC and in this video I will show you how I did it. I'll talk about the hardware that I bought and I will walk you through the installation process of fitting everything into my new case. Specifically, I'll talk about a graphics card upgrade, a motherboard, a hard drive upgrade, a RAM upgrade and installing everything in my new computer case. After that, we will test everything whether it's compatible to play PC VR games and maybe even try one to see how it goes. If you enjoy handy videos like this, and of course, if you are interested in anything virtual reality related, please consider subscribing to Disco VR channel. And now a quick message from our sponsors. If you're watching this video and you're considering upgrading your motherboard, you may find yourself in a situation where you need to reinstall and reactivate your Windows 10. So if you want an inexpensive Windows 10 key, then you should check out cdkeyoffers.com. They are a great online retailer full of a bunch of activation keys for different software and games. You can buy a key there, it'll get delivered to you in a matter of seconds after you complete your purchase. Then you activate your Windows, get rid of that annoying watermark and get full access of your Windows customization options. Their keys are very affordable, but you can get them for even cheaper with my special discount code VR20. So if you want to check out cdkeyoffers.com, you'll find the link to the website and the discount code in the description below. Let me walk you through the upgrades that I bought. First, I bought the GeForce RTX 2060 graphics card. This is obviously the most important upgrade I made, and even though it's not the best and the hottest graphics card on the market, it's still very fast and it will allow you to play new PC VR games on medium or high settings. And since I'm not the ultra graphics snob, naturally I went for it to stick within my budget. I found it on eBay for just a little bit under $300 and I was extremely happy with this find because normally it goes for quite higher. Downloading PC VR games calls for a lot of hard drive space, so I bought a super fast M2 slot hard drive from Hynix with 1TB space. It'll be an addition to the Kingston 480GB M2 hard drive that I already have, and I think that should be enough. In case you don't know, M2 slot allows the hard drive to be connected to your PC directly, without any cables, which will make it easier to fit in the case. I'll show this to you soon. I got it for $120, which is a bit pricey, but for a read speed of 3500 megabytes per second, I just couldn't resist. I have an MSI MPG Z390 Gaming Plus motherboard, which is good enough to get the job done. It supports Intel Core i5, i7, and i9. Speaking of the processor, I decided to stick with i5, but in the future I will upgrade to a better one when I feel the need to do so. Again, if you're on budget, Intel Core i5 is a great place to start. I already have 16 gigabytes of RAM and I got a Viper DDR4 16 gigabytes module to increase it to a total of 32 gigs. RAM memory card is one of the easiest upgrades that you can do to your computer, but it can improve the performance greatly. For example, when I had the 16 gig, I had trouble even processing some of the videos for this channel, not even mentioning playing any games. It cost me only $30 to upgrade my RAM and it's definitely needed to improve your performance. And lastly, I got a new game gaming PC case by Musetex. It was quite inexpensive, only $17, and I thought it would upgrade the overall look of my new PC. Okay, and now I'll show you how I fit everything in. We start with cleaning up my old case. Here I'm removing the motherboard to prepare it for its shiny new home. This is a mid-size case, exactly like my old one, so I wasn't worried about fitting everything in. However, I needed to temporarily remove two of the cooling fans to install the motherboard. Try to be very careful while fitting the motherboard in so that you don't scratch it on the bottom. And now I'm plugging in my additional RAM. Push it strongly enough so that it clicks on both sides. And here's how easy it is to install my new hard drive. It goes right in, no cables, and that's what makes it so fast. For my graphics card, I will remove these two back plates to free up some space and push it right in. Welcome, my beautiful RTX! And finally, I will install my power supply and connect it to the graphics card and the motherboard as the last step to set up my new PC.
I'm so excited about this PC and it's right about time to test it and see if it's good enough to run PC VR games. Let's do this! The easiest way to test if your PC is VR ready is to run the Steam VR performance test. Open Steam and in the search bar type in Steam VR Performance Test. It's a free tool that's very handy to check if your system is ready. I already have it in my Steam library, so I will click Use Now. It's best if you shut down all the unnecessary apps working in the background so that nothing overloads your system and you get true performance. When you run the Steam VR performance test, this window will show up and it'll start evaluating your system. This may take a couple of minutes, just be patient with it and do not touch anything, just let it finish its business. And when it's done, it will give you the evaluation. And as you can see, my system isn't just ready, but it performs well above what is recommended. It doesn't mean necessarily that I can run all VR games on ultra settings, but I can certainly run most of them on at least medium or high. Awesome! If you're unsure which GPU to buy to play PC VR games, there is a list of graphics cards tested by Oculus. If you choose one that says supported, then Oculus guarantees that it'll work for Oculus Link. Many games on the Oculus Store are cross-buy, meaning if you have games on your Quest 2 system, many of them will automatically become available to you on PC VR for free. That's how I managed to download Robo Recall, and here I'm showing you the visual difference between playing this game on your Quest and on the PC. Please let me know in the comments if you would like me to create a tutorial explaining how to play PC VR games with your Oculus Quest or Quest 2 using Oculus Link cable or wirelessly. As a side note, I plan to also buy new monitors in the future, but they will be covered in another video about upgrades to my PC. I'm very happy with the way my new gaming PC turned out, and as you can see, I didn't spend thousands of dollars for this build, and I still got a very decent gaming PC that you can use for casual gaming and for playing PC VR games. Please let me know in the comments what you think about these upgrades and how you are planning to upgrade your PC soon. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel. And as always, happy gaming!